Hey guys. The fans have been in disarray because of the announcement regarding the ending of Dragon Ball Super. No one saw it coming to be honest. Everyone believed that Dragon Ball Super would last for at least a year or two. However, they have really surprised us with the announcement. We still have a lot of unanswered questions which won't be answered unless and until we a new series. However, there is a possible solution for this. As we know that a Dragon Ball movie is coming out this year in December. The movie is focused on the Saiyan race but how will it line up against the plot of Dragon Ball Super? We have a had a lot of content thrown at us in Dragon Ball Super, the movie won't be going too deep into the history of the Saiyans. Beerus has said that originally there was 18 universes instead of 12. However, Zeno erased 6 of them because he was in a bad mood. Erasing 6 universes is not something that you can allow to pass. We have already seen paired universes. Universe 6 and 7 have existed together for a long time now. Now if all the universes are paired with each other, how can the erased universes fit into the system? The answer is that the universes actually existed as triplets. January 12, 18, February 11, 17, March 9, 16, April 10, 15, May 8, 14, June 7, 13. When you certain things in account the above idea isn't too far flung. The Super Dragon Balls are scattered amongst 6 and 7, and the dual justice slash love themes running parallel in 11 and 2. It is possible that there is another universe where Saiyans exist. There have been a lot of speculations regarding what wish would Goku make if Universe 7 wins the Tournament of Power. The answer is fairly simple. Gok will ask for the erased universes to be restored. It could lead to Zeno getting angry. Vegeta and Gok might learn about their heritage, which might lead to a possible big battle. So, Dragon Ball Super could actually be the base for the real story. The whole actually makes and it would make the next series after Super even better. All of this is just speculation but it is a solid idea. That's it from me. Hey guys. Dragon Ball Super will soon be airing its 125th episode. The previous episode left the fans in a state of dismay. Many fans criticized the poor script writing and the quality of the animation, and to be fair, it was rightly deserved. In the preview for Dragon Ball Super 125, we saw Tapo undergoing a new transformation which will definitely give Universe 7 something to think about. However, the spoilers for the new episode have dropped a hint that Tapo won't be able to reach the state of a god of destruction so easily. The title for episode 125 of the series is Majestic. Advent of the God of Destruction, Tapo. This has led the fans to question his eligibility for the Tournament of Power. Unlike Jiren, who has surpassed the levels of God of Destruction, while Tapo is becoming a God of Destruction. He's not just reaching the level but he is going becoming a god of destruction. Well, that's what the spoilers have been suggesting. It is pretty common knowledge that the gods of destruction aren't allowed to compete in the tournament of power. I have pointed out that Tapo's transformation is something different. It's not just his ability to use the god key, it seems that Tapo becomes a full-fledged god of destruction, and if that does happen, then Universe 11 is in further trouble. Becoming a god of destruction, will eliminate him from the tournament of power as it is against the rules. But, we know over the both the Xeno prefer fun over rules and they can send the rules according to their pleasure. It is most likely that Tapo is going to fight against Android 17 and Frieza. I don't really this that Android 17 and Frieza can defeat Tapo, so most likely Tapo is going to be disqualified. However, if Tapo really is eliminated rather disqualified, it would bring an interesting twist in the Tournament of Power. Universe 11 will have just one fighter remaining, who is Jiren. He will be up against four fighters from Universe 7. Even though Jiren is super strong, he will have a hard time competing against four fighters, which include the likes of Gok and Vegeta, who just gained a new form.